Yeah. I'm ready. This is it. In three, two, one, go. Okay, both runners are off. I have no music here, but let's um, let's pull oh, some up. Okay, there we go. How's the music levels, guys? Music levels okay? Ooh, Oppenheimer getting hung up here. This is a tricky little uh, maneuver. That's definitely a, a flex strat. A little bounce off the wall. It's like reverse, reverse hyper, I think it's called. I'm not sure exactly the terminology, but it um, it definitely gets me hung up. Oppen moving smoothly, a little bit ahead of Meta, I think. Music levels are good. Thank you guys. Ooh, Meta getting squished there by a platform, and Oppenheimer taking a death almost at the same time. Oops, that is not the way to go. Oppenheimer with a small mistake there. Not a whole lot of time to be lost here um, for either player, as long as they play somewhat solidly. They're going to end up around the same time. Just got to make sure you don't get caught on any screens and keep making a... Keep making mistakes. Oppenheimer here, finishing up with this neutral wall jump strat. Very nicely done. Meta not too far behind. And I got a crash. Oh, nice. you got the memory leak crash. Okay, no problem. That's fine. It should save. It should save your time. I used to. I still get that crash all the time. Uh, it's just kind of a weird thing that happens at the end of uh, City for some reason. We'll wait as Meta uh, reboots up. GG to both runners. Uh, Meta, just let me know when you're uh, when you're back up. Oh, Oppen. Carrarium, you know that crash too. Yep. See what I do just as habit now is uh, you can avoid that crash by instead of pausing and skipping the cutscene, you pause and you exit to map, and that ensures you don't get that crash. Yeah, it comes and goes. I don't know. I know it's as it has to do something with like a memory leak, but I'm not sure anything else about it. It's actually really smart. Yeah, it doesn't lose a lot of time. Uh, it's pretty quick, and it guarantees that you're not going to get that crash happening. I am back. Okay, and we're back. Sorry guys, I'm just moving the, just moving the cut back into place. Here we go. Okay, nice, there we go. So now we have our totals here. Uh, Oppen with a minute 30 city. Meta not far behind with a minute 34. And uh, Oppen starting out with a four second lead. Very well done. Let's get on to the next postcard screen, both players. Okay, I'm going to change up the music here. I do like Old Sight's music. Whoa. Malix. Three months in the inner circle, my friend. Powerful Malix. Okay. Okay, we got the music going. Are the runners ready? Ready. Here we go. Old sight in three, two, one, go. What's up, Quad Banger? Welcome in. Alex, no, uh, Malix. Not you, Quad. Okay, Old Sight is uh, a, another short ish level. Uh, the levels get longer and longer as you go. But some really interesting uh, strats you're going to see here. Oppenheimer manipulating the cutscene skip there. So he spawns inside of this dream block and moving really nicely through uh, that room using a combination of ultra dashes. What's up, Malix? Welcome in. Like, hey, 
Okay, and Oppenheimer first to the battling chase sequence. Metagloria not too far behind. For anyone confused, Metagloria is actually uh, rerunning. This is a rerun of his run from before. He has it on slideshow, and uh, that's why you're you're uh, only seeing uh, <laughs> st static images. He's just pressing I'm the. I'm shocked that it's that bad. I, just, I really thought I was gonna have a good connection to that. He's just pressing the the clicker on the slideshow. Ooh, Oppenheimer getting stuck, allowing Meta to close the gap here right. a little bit. Now both yeah. players on the same screen. This is a tricky strat. And there's a bunch of ways to do it wrong, and only a few ways to do it right. Oppenheimer's through. Onto the final chase screen here. He's going to have to navigate and grab these four keys while avoiding the battlings as fast as possible. And he does it first try. Nicely done. Metagloria not too far behind. Oppenheimer now into the final section of the level. Nicely done by Meta. He's through. Both players now, you're going to see them doing their best to maintain their momentum. Uh, through this relatively tame final section. You're going to see a lot of uh, downward, forward dashing, a lot of uh, little bunny hops. They're going to be trying to avoid these springboards. You can see Oppenheimer hitting one there. It actually completely kills your momentum and, uh, and slows you down. And Oppen is first to the finish line. Metagloria not too far behind, maybe maybe only four or five seconds. Oh, come on. I hope nobody's watching this. I'm doing Do you time. ever just retry? Well done. Well done, both players. That is this is nowhere near the capacity I should be running at. Ickle Chris in the house. What is up, Ickle Chris? Oh that's why. If Chris is watching thing, that's why I'm doing that. <laughs> it's always Chris. Do you ever just retry? Wow, Chris getting trash talk from both runners here. And let's take a look at the scorecards. We have a 2 minute 24 second old site for Oppenheimer and a 2.33 from Metagloria. Nine seconds apart, which extends Oppenheimer's lead to just under 10 seconds. Still a very close race. Let's get ready. Ickle Chris, why is Meta running a PowerPoint presentation? <laughs> okay, let's get uh let's get okay. to those postcards. Well, me, and... Okay. Uh, I'm you, gonna do You wanna try something? Gonna... We need to send some magic to Metagloria's PC here. Serendipity in the house. Like, hey, what's, up, what's up, Serendipity? Welcome in. How are you today? Ickle Chris is going to send you a link uh, to download more RAM meta. Uh, just make sure you put in your social security number correctly. Otherwise, the RAM will not download successfully. Hey, okay, let's do uh, in chat. Is, do I have any mods in chat? Palm Top, you're, uh, you're here, right? Palm Top, can we do a poll? I want to do a poll. I, already, I have a feeling it's going uh, to be very one-sided, but I'm curious. Um, can we do a poll that just asks, have you played Celeste? Yes or no? Have you played Celeste? I'm curious. I think it's going to be like 90% yes, but um curious to see who hasn't. Am I back? And yes, Meta is back. Okay. Am I any better off now? Um, tough to tell. Why don't we just get into the, uh, we'll get into the next stage and we'll see how it goes. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's our motto here at the Moonberry Cup. 
We're on a, we're on a, sh- a shoestring budget. There we go. Thank you for the poll, uh, guys. Uh, play along if you are so inclined. What's Celeste? What's up, Sal in the house? I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Um, okay. Here we go. We're going to start the first lengthy and challenging stage. Celeste Resort, are the runners ready? Ready. Let's get it. In three, two, one, go. Good luck to both gamers as we start Celeste Resort. Uh, it does look better on my end, Meta. Yep. Definitely looks better. Great. 82% yes, I have played. 83% yes, I have played Celeste. Uh, two people have not played Celeste. Both players smooth in the beginning here. Oppenheimer with a slight lead, but very slight. Ooh, Oppen taking a death at the beginning of this uh, meatball room. This is a room that can be tricky to death cycle if you're not familiar with it. And for anybody maybe new to speedrunning uh, Celeste, uh, there are death cycles basically when you when you die in a room. Uh, everything there's no RNG in this game, so everything is uh, predetermined to respond a certain way. Um, and your first time into a room, everything is on a cycle, and if you die, the cycle changes slightly. And a lot of the uh, speedrunning mechanics uh, are dependent upon you entering a room, maybe with a certain amount of speed, a certain amount of momentum. And by dying, you can no longer enter that room with that same uh, speed and momentum. So it changes your strats up slightly. So it goes without saying, but players are going to be trying not to die. And Oppenheimer first to um, the first section here. Metagloria right behind. You're going to see a quick spike jump here by Oppenheimer. Oh, he missed the first attempt. Got it on the second attempt. Spike jumping is something you'll see a few times during the run. It's an exploit that allows you to kind of um, jump off of the corner pixel of a wall without touching a spike, even though oh, no. casually you wouldn't think that it was possible. Oh, Meta Gloria, do you ever just retry? Do you ever just retry? 84% have played Celeste. I'd like to retry this whole run. <laughs> no retries in the Moonberry Cup, unfortunately. Do you ever just retry? Okay, both players now. Oppenheimer taking a death there and Metagloria taking the lead. Woohoo! He's going to hope to maintain that lead and extend it as he's still he's about to do the towels demo so oh, he's about to get a big lead here towels demo coming up oh. hopefully it lands on a frame when we get to see it oh it looks like he missed it oppenheimer will he go for it no no towel demo for oppenheimer just going to play it safe <laughs> coward the coward ooh oppenheimer dying on that screen and meta pulling ahead now Nice, smooth strat there from Oppenheimer. And Meta first to clean up this section. Both players now completely have cleaned the hotel and are going to make their way to the roof to face off with Oshiro. In the meantime, you're gonna see them both approach a uh, really cool skip. If you've never seen it, it is called the Demo Dash. What they're gonna do is they're going to uh, exploit a small gap in a wall of meatballs, or they're actually dust bunnies. And by uh, doing a specific setup and execution, ooh, Oppenheimer taking a death there. Very costly death at the end of this long room. Metagloria now. 
onto the demo dash. Let's see if he gets it. Ooh, oh, fails at the first God. attempt. This is a very precise dash here, guys. And Metagloria, uh, Metagloria is showing us just what can happen if you're not perfectly lined up. He is really struggling to get through this wall here. And he has allowed Oppenheimer to catch up completely, erasing Oppenheimer's mistake. Oppenheimer first try through. Wow. This happened exactly the same way almost during our last race. We took one player four or five attempts, and the other player first trying it, completely erasing the lead. Metagloria now, both players now, onto the roof, into the Oshiro section. It is anybody's race at this point. This race is extremely close. The Oshiro section, very daunting for uh, casual players and for beginning speedrunners. God, I forgot the death strat. With Oshiro <laughs> chasing you and these meatballs cycling around. Uh, and these long screens mean big time losses for any mistakes. Oppenheimer getting stuck there, allowing Metagloria to pull ahead. Oppenheimer really struggling now. And Metagloria just smooth oh. as silk. Nope. Nope. Takes a death there. Yo, Comet in the house. What's up, Comet? Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Comet, guys, are uh, one of our runners in the second race here. Extremely fast, legendary runner, Comet. Welcome in. Oppenheimer still struggling with this Oshiro section as Metagloria is now on the final screen and hoping to close out this stage, making up that time he so badly needed to make up. It looks like the resort... Ooh, Oppenheimer taking another costly death there. The resort is proving to be an extreme swing stage here. It looks like we're going to have a new leader. Oppenheimer now just needs to... Stop the bleeding here. Finish this stage off. Every second now. Costly. M. Sushi in the house. What is up, M. Sushi? Wow, we have Celeste Speed running, dare I say, royalty. Joining us here, guys. Eternal Glory holder, M. Sushi 100. M. Sushi, you hold Eternal Glory. Well done, guys. Both players now through the stage. Oppenheimer. Really struggling there. Let's take a look at these. Let's take a look at these notebooks. Uh, Metagloria with a six minute eight second celestial resort. Oppenheimer with a six minute 40 second resort. That's a big old swing. Total times now Metagloria with a 10 minute 46. Oppenheimer 11.05. Wow. What a roll reversal. What a roll reversal. Okay, guys, let's get ready for Golden Ridge. Go ahead and get to the postcard screens, if you will. How are you guys feeling? I think I speak for both of us when I say that was not our best work in resort. Yeah. <laughs> both players feeling the pressure. Let's get ready to run Golden Ridge in three, two, one, go. Golden Ridge, ladies and gentlemen, this is another stage that I think not only casual players struggle with, beginning speedrunners struggle with, but I think even uh, some more seasoned speedrunners struggle with Golden Ridge. It introduces a few uh, mechanics. Uh, you see clouds here for the first time, uh, which are tricky to get a hang of. Um, they, they bounce you depending on uh, where you're positioned on the cloud, and you have to kind of use the momentum they give you. Um, and this stage also introduces wind and wind is um extremely tricky to navigate and you're going to see both these runners making it look very easy oppenheimer here exploiting a uh, a bubble trick you can do right here which allows you to kind of normally you enter the bubble and you can only dash out once but if you uh, crouch dash first uh, allows you to um, kind of maintain your dash and dash twice. Another skip here, a spike jump. You're going to see Oppenheimer perform. Struggling a bit there. Metagloria, both players now, neck and neck. Ickle Chris says, how about some hairstyling tips? Are those for sale? 
Oh, you're talking about M. Sushi, yes. M. Sushi with the forever tussled hair. Uh, who has time to mess with their hair when they're going so fast, am I right? Okay, both players very close. Metal Glory taking a strange death on this screen. Not a screen you normally would die on, but I think anyone who's speedrun this game uh, has said that before. I've never died here, I swear. There's always new ways to die in Celeste. Oh, like that! Always new ways to die. Yes, another very weird place to die. Metaglory is uh, showing us uh, all the weird places to die, and Oppenheimer too. Wow. Really? I had an analog moment, and I'm playing on keyboard. Learn fun new ways to die here at the Moonberry Cup. Here we go. Oppenheimer uh, going to show off a pretty cool strat here. Actually, both players lining up. First attempt for Oppenheimer. Really nicely done. You can see him dashing down onto the moving platform and squeezing through. Nicely done by Meta as well. Oh, Ooh, Oppenheimer just missing as he's trying. Both players are going to try and one cycle the the wind on this room. Oppenheimer opting to uh, take the more traditional route through here. Both players now approaching the cliff face, which is the windiest section. Wind oh, really gosh. pushing back. Ugh. Hate that Frustration here from Metagloria as Oppenheimer pulls ahead. This is the ridge Oppenheimer wanted and needed. Let's hope he can close it out smoothly and not lose this time that he's making up here. Celeste, weird death percent. I have not heard confirmation or denial from the creators of Celeste, but in my mind, these are angry yetis throwing these snowballs. Smooth from both players. Oppenheimer first to the final screen, but Metagloria has closed the gap nicely here. He's not going to lose too much time as long as he stays smooth. Oppenheimer first to the finish. Metagloria. That's a PB. Nicely yeah. done with a PB. Wow. A PB. A sub four for Metagloria. Wow. Well done. Very well done. Is that PB? I actually have no idea. It's gold on my splits. Wow. Love to see that, guys. Love to see Moonberry Cup bringing out the speed. <laughs> Wall on Ice. Wait, is your name Wall Wall on Ice or Wall on Ice or Wallow Nice? There's so many ways to. What's up, Wallow? For Roar in the house, welcome in. Let's take a look at what that Golden Ridge means to the race. A three-minute fifty-three. Both players sub four Ridge, extremely speedy. Oppenheimer with a three fifty-three. Meta with a three fifty-eight. And that brings the totals to 14.58, Oppenheimer, 14.45, Metagloria, still with some work to do. Wait, no. Oppenheimer, still with some work to do to make up for that uh, Celeste Resort time. Uh, now, are you guys running both uh, Mirror Temple B? I hope you are, because I am. Okay, I think yes. I think both players are going to run Mirror Temple B. Temple B last. That's so do good news because that means I can put on Mirror Temple B music. We're just going to listen to it the whole time. Okay, guys, let's get to those postcard screens if you're ready. Unless you need a, If anybody needs a break, let me know. You guys good to go? Looks like they're ready. Okay, here we go, guys. This is Mirror Temple. In three, two, one, go. Now, for anybody not familiar, Mirror Temple is um, my favorite level 
uh, super cool. And what you're going to see here that you may not uh, have seen before is both players are going to take a different path. They're going to uh, unlock the cassette, which opens up 5B. Uh, because 5B is actually faster than 5A if you uh, if you play it properly, but it is a tricky stage. We're gonna have to see some solid play from both players. A lot of long rooms, a lot of uh, cycles that can that can really eat at your time if you're not careful. And we're gonna see uh, Oppenheimer first here uh, approach uh, another cool trick, which is known as the Depths Corner Boost. It's gonna using this. Uh, moving platform here, he's going to try and launch himself across the screen at high speed. Metagloria is showing us how it's done. Getting most of the boost. Oppenheimer struggles and has to abandon it. Uh, Metagloria getting kicked across a big part of the screen puts him slightly ahead as he approaches the path here to 5B. This is the uh, path you take to collect the cassette. Once you have the cassette, you're gonna see both players exit out to the map and um, begin their 5B. Frame rate low on Metagloria? Yes, Metagloria is uh, actually just in slideshow mode. But it's really not too bad. We can follow where he is. He is uh, first to cassette. Oppenheimer with the cassette miss. <laughs> And both players now entering 5B. You're going to see uh, some cool strats, but the most hype strat, I think, and the most famous strat of all is the Bubs Drop. Bubs Drop is a uh, two-frame window, which for anybody not familiar with speedrunning, it's uh, very small. And they're going to be attempting to climb upwards into a screen transition and then within a two frame window drop back down to the first screen. If they can do that successfully, they will uh, skip having to do a big section of the level. And as Metagloria approaches here, we're gonna see if he gets it. Nope. He does not, you're gonna see him now. Uh, looks like he's continuing the stage as normal. Some players opt to try a second time. Oppenheimer missing as well, and also taking the uh, standard route. Metagloria through this uh, quick dashing bubble screen. Meta is going for the Samsung Smart Fridge Any Percent World Record. Okay, now Meta through. I'm actually playing on the display interface of a Casio keyboard. <laughs> Okay, Meta in the lead now, but takes a death in this long room. This is a, a room that you really want to get through cleanly, and it's uh, it's not easy to do. A lot of ways you can die, and uh, Metagloria grabbing the uh, safety transition screen transition here, which is smart as Oppenheimer is closing that gap fast. Pleb Meister, what is up, Pleb? Streamlabs reminding us you can guess the magic word. There's a magic word that if you guys say it in chat, uh, you will win. Uh, you'll win something. Oppenheimer struggling a little bit here with this uh, spike skip. Can't quite get it, and uh, Metagloria extending his lead now as he comes up to a sketchy dash, makes it through, and is the first through the magic mirror here. Oppenheimer really can't uh, knock out. There it is. There we go. There it is. Gets it done. Metagloria now entering the Seeker section. That's not good. Sky does not believe that we will, believe that we will find the word. Maybe I should add some words. Maybe I'll put like five words. Make it more likely that someone will find it. Okay, Oppenheimer now into the no, Seeker section. Ooh, taking that final death. That's the worst place you can die on this screen in terms of time loss. Everyone has done it. Don't worry. I'm, I'm losing it over here. You're fine. Both players now struggling to get through 5B. 5B is mighty.
Metagloria now closing in on the final section, with which is the uh, Theo section. Lots happening here. You're going to see... Uh, you're going to have to throw Theo. Uh, you're going to have to use these springboards. You're going to have to avoid spikes and seekers. Oppenheimer there showing us how you can use the uh, explosions that the seekers uh, give off to propel yourself across the level. Metaglory now showing us how you navigate these buttons. Pleb says, I love 5B, too bad I'm terrible at the game. It is a great, uh, it's a great level. Wall on ice with the bees in chat. Smooth play here from Oppenheimer. Metagloria onto the final screen. Nicely navigated. First try, and he's to the heart. First to the heart. Oppenheimer now hoping to get through these screens flawlessly and minimize the time difference. Looks like a 421 for Metagloria. And Oppenheimer into the final screen. You can see these blocks appear and disappear based on uh, rhythm. And both players through. Well done. That's Mirror Temple in the books in the books speaking of books let's take a look at these uh these notebooks here uh six minute uh complete mirror temple that includes the 5a uh, up to the cassette unlock and then the rest of 5b six minute three seconds for metagloria 646 for oppenheimer that's a 33 second difference bringing the totals Oppenheimer 2145 meta 2048 that's about a one minute difference but guys please don't forget, it is anyone's race here as we still have Reflection and Summit to come. Are you guys ready? Oppen's Reflection PB is 56 seconds faster than mine. This is where the run can go anywhere. This is really exactly, that's exactly right. The run could really turn around now. But as you know, anything can happen during a race. Are you guys I think, ready? I think I'm going to implement the 6B route on the fly to try to make up for it. Uh, that's one way to go. Okay, let's get some uh, reflection music happening. Okay, both players on the postcard screens. If you guys are ready, let's kick it in. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. And here we go. Reflection is a beautiful level with a lot of um, a lot of interesting strats, which you're going to see both players um, showcasing here. We're introduced to the feather mechanic, where Madeline grabs a feather and turns into uh, I don't know, turn into a ball of energy, I guess. And uh, depending on how each player is playing. Uh, you're going to see them uh, switching to analog. Well, you won't see it, but most players switch to analog for the feather manipulation. It's a little bit smoother. Meta, are you uh, are you with us? Okay. Um, if anyone knows Meta's address, we might need to send the um, paramedics. Uh, not sure if he's still playing. But uh, hopefully he is, and we just can't see him. And then um, Oppenheimer. Let's talk about what Oppenheimer's doing. Tried to go for a pretty cool strat there where you can get to that Kevin block uh, really fast before... Uh, or you get to the ice block fast and allow the Kevin block to skip right through there. This level also uh, is the first time we see these Kevin blocks. They're called Kevin blocks. 
because the uh, the guy who voices their uh, unique sound, his name was Kevin. I think he's one of the sound designers. What's up, Unga? Unga thinks it's a laptop crash. Rut row. Okay, well, we can uh, we can let him uh, still finish this up. So Oppenheimer, hope you're feeling focused. Okay, this is cool. Let's see. Sorry about the visual here, guys. Let me see if I can adjust this on the fly. I'm glad this is happening because I'm sure this will happen in the future and we'll, we'll have to be ready for it. Uh, let's see. Does this help? No. We're taking donations now, guys, to uh, buy Meta a real laptop. If you have any rich relatives, now's the time. Okay. Well, we don't have any uh, any backup strats for the stream, guys. I'm sorry, but we're just gonna have to look at this like kind of zoomed in. Big screen. Can't fail lake skip if your computer doesn't even render the lake because it crashed. Everyone's sending energy to Metagloria. Thank you so much, guys. Let's hopefully we'll get Metagloria back in here soon. We can see Oppenheimer uh, kind of zoomed in here as he makes his way very smoothly into the underwater spike section. The only area in the game that is underwater and has spikes. Very short little section here, and it's uh, really tricky to do fast. I'm very excited that the devs decided not to uh, make that a longer section. Person, the person. Meta Gloria ran out of memory. It's all due to the program I was trying to close at the beginning. Okay, Meta. Well, if you can get back in and uh, run Reflection, uh, let me know. Bridge in the house. What's up, Bridge? Majamar, how was your isolated birthday? It was really good, Bridge. Thank you so much. Really good. Plebs has ever played the Water Temple mods? Let's have some pretty cool water physics. No, I haven't, but that sounds terrifying. It sounds absolutely terrifying. Oppenheimer now into uh, the battle in battle section. Let's hit some hey yas in chat. Metagloria coming back to life it seems here. You can see Oppenheimer navigating through here. Lots going on. Again, you got these feather, uh, this feather mechanic you have to uh, navigate. Uh, you have battling, shooting laser beams and fireballs. You got bumpers in action. Spikes everywhere. Oppenheimer making it look easy. Nice one cycle on so that screen. I'm, I'm back. Can you see my screen? Yep, Meta, we see your screen. Yep. How do you want to approach you well, to finish up reflection? yeah, I think um, if you just want to finish up reflection, that'd be the best way to get uh, get you back on track here. Yep. Sincerest apologies for the hey, no worries, man. Technical difficulties happen, and uh, I was just saying how grateful I am that it did because it's going to uh, allow us to kind of um, do our best, not only to prevent in the future, but manage it, uh, manage it when they do come up. Very important as we try to make this, uh, make these events bigger, better, smoother, faster. Roar sending all the energy. Metagloria now fully back in action. Going for the lake skip. Saves nine years.
ACO Network in the house. What is up, man? Welcome in. This is the fourthest ever Moonberry Cup. Guys, I'm so proud to have you here. As Oppenheimer and Metagloria face off. Oppenheimer now narrowly avoiding a beam as he finishes off the final section of the battle in battle. And leveling up, collecting the only level up in the game. One of the uh, really cool things about this game that I think is it's so simple. There's not a, there's no weapons, there's no magic. There's only one power up which you get right here and it allows you to dash twice. Oppenheimer now into the purple orb shooting to the end of the screen and finishing up the level. And this is not real time, guys, FYI. Metagloria uh, looks like he's just beginning the stage, but um, the times are not that far apart. Ooh. Hoping for a nice clean run here and we could, uh, we could be neck and neck. Nicely played by Oppenheimer. Let's, um, Oppen, uh, how did you start playing Celeste? Uh, I picked it up one day because one of my friends said play Celeste, and it was so fun that I decided to speedrun it. Uh, is this the first game you ever speedrun? Uh, no. I used to speedrun Owlboy. Okay. Game yep, I'm familiar uh, with it. To not much success, but I still speedrun it. Um... But this is the first one I like actively speedrun. How many, uh, do you know how many hours you have offhand? On Celeste? Let me pull up Steam. 415. Nice. It's a good amount of time. 450, almost coming up on 500 hours. Person the Person says, The battle and fight is probably one of my favorite moments in all of video gaming. I just absolutely love it. Oh, Whitehair in the house. What's up, Whitehair? Can't stay, but good luck, have fun to the runners. Thank you, Whitehair. Uh, battle and fight, surprisingly easy with minimal dashes. Owlboy looks really cool. Metagloria now into um, one of my least favorite screens you have these uh well he's through you have bumpers going on you got feathers feathers and bubbles you have to dash into uh, that was a seven minute 18 second reflection for oppenheimer not my best reflection but it, it was okay but it's better than my best reflection so you definitely are gonna make up time Exorcizzle, a.k.a. Allie, in the house. What's up, Allie? She says, I'll never forget how it felt. It's so good, and the music kills. I think, you know, I agree. The reason we're all here is that uh, Celeste is an absolute masterpiece, and um, I think one of the biggest testaments to that is the fact that you can play it for 400 hours and um, still find new things to do, new challenges, and, uh, the, the, you know... the the game doesn't get old. I personally have, I think, around 250 hours. And I've always said that I will stop playing if it stops being fun, and uh, it hasn't happened yet. There's always mods, too. Oh, oh, oh. There's always mods, too. That's correct. So you literally have uh, unlimited, unlimited gameplay, basically. Hab in the house. What's up, Hab? A thousand hours till now. Still cannot find a way out. Please send help. Allie, it is a beautiful game uh, to play casually as well. And whenever possible, I go onto Twitch and I try and find somebody who's playing the game the first time through because the story is uh, the story is amazing. And as speedrunners, we don't really get to see the story because the story is slow. And we don't like anything that's slow.
I wonder if capturing Twitch would be faster. Maybe it's just the Discord. Maybe something about Discord. Person the person says, I have a little under 100 hours. Currently working on Farewell, and I must say, it is absolutely brutal. Person the person. I can't agree with you more. Farewell, very brutal. And especially the, uh, the final screen of Farewell. Ali says, I still haven't done Farewell, so I guess I haven't beaten the game then, huh? Well, I mean, you beat the core game. You beat the, uh, the main game, I guess you could say. You've reached the summit. But even to get to Farewell, you have to unlock a bunch of stuff. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff you have to find in-game. Uh, you have to do some B-sides, some C-sides, some core. Hab says, oh Steam is probably gosh. pretty inaccurate, but it did take me 400 hours to get to 202 berries, so who knows? Yeah, 202 berries is an absolute achievement. Hab, you got 202 berries, Hab? Is that the Habidaz? That is the legendary Habidaz in the chat. 202 berries is uh, absolutely insane achievement, which many players will go their entire lives without uh, being able to... Uh, to accomplish. Uh, every level has red strawberries, which are collectibles. Some of them are, are somewhat challenging. Um, and then uh, on top of that, you have um, golden strawberries. The golden strawberries are activated at the beginning of each level where you pick them up and you have to reach the end of the stage without dying in order to collect them. And that goes for all A sides, B sides, C sides, core sides, and farewell. Yeah, got it a few months back. Give it up for Hab. That's incredible. The farewell Goldenberry. I mean, you could spend you could spend a lifetime just trying to get that done and still not do it. Spicy Oreos in the house, bro. Someone just died at the last screen in farewell. Oh my God! With the golden ice cream. Like a few minutes ago. Oof. Big oofs. Metaglorian now. Closing out reflection. Flying upwards towards the skip cutscene. And we're going to see where he ended up here. Once again, opping with a 7 minute, 18 second reflection. Metagloria, an 8 minute, 3. So that's the swing we were talking about, guys. Right there. Now we got a race. Let's go to the score cards. This is going to be a close one. And there we go. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. Oppenheimer with a 2904. Meta with a 2910 going into Summit. It is anybody's game now. Are you guys ready to go? Now remember, there's no postcard screen. So, um,. We're just going to have to get ready and do a countdown on the uh, climb screen. So once you get to that um, once you get to that climb button, please pause and I'll do a countdown. Fun fact, the timer doesn't actually run down or count down on the first screen of Summit with like the little image. Really? Like a pseudo postcard. Hmm. Palm Tap redeemed. Good luck to both runners. Marker sending energy. Let's give all our energy to both these runners as we enter the summit. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. All the energy in chat. All the energy in chat as we enter by far the longest level in the game. The summit has a combination. Uh, it's, it's a compilation of every stage. Uh, the first and last sections here are, uh, are not based on any stage, kind of unique to uh, the summit level. You can see Oppenheimer taking a 
Death there. And Metagloria. Both players actually now. Very close meta taking a death. Strange death there. Maybe both players are feeling the nerves. Oppen. First to the purple orb and entering the city section, a.k.a. 500 meters. Metagloria not far behind. Props to both players here. Absolute speed on display. Metagloria struggling a bit here. Oppenheimer taking a death there though as well. Yes. And Oppenheimer touching that purple orb launching into the next level 1000 meters brings back the dream blocks petite in the house what is up petite welcome in my friend how are you person the person says core is probably the second hardest platforming section i have ever completed very close behind path of pain from hollow knight oh that's a good comparison i really enjoy path of pain Hollow Knight also has some pretty challenging platforming aspects. Oppenheimer taking a death there. Another death. Struggling a bit, allowing Metagloria to close the gap here a bit. Oppenheimer really getting stuck. And Meta right behind. Smooth play from Meta. Hope you have a good stream. Wish you the best, my friend. Thank you, Petite. Malik says, Core seems like a joke compared to Chapter 9, in my opinion. Oppenheimer, first to reach 1,500 meters, a.k.a. the resort section. We're bringing back these dreaded meatballs, moving platforms, key rooms, Metagloria right behind. Ooh, Oppenheimer missing the uh, strat and now getting caught. The death cycle giving him problems here. Metagloria able to close this gap a little bit with some smooth play. Oppenheimer into a long screen now, which is really punishing if you don't close it out. Any death at the end of this screen is going to really, really eat at your time. He makes it through, but Metagloria has indeed closed the gap a bit as Oppenheimer struggling here. He's going to go for a big, uh, big speedy attempt. Nicely done. First try this big long room. These speedrunners make it look really easy. Metagloria also zooming through that room right on Oppenheimer's heels. Welcome to Meatball Hell. Lucian in the house. What is up, Lucian? Welcome in, my friend. Oppenheimer taking a death there. Now both players on the final screen of the section. Oh, Metagloria struggling a bit. Oppenheimer first to 2,000 meters and Metagloria right on his heels. This is the Golden Ridge section, so once again, we're going to see clouds, we're going to see wind, we're going to see spikes, we're going to see snowballs. The Angry Yetis are back. Very smooth movement here from both players. Ooh, Metagloria taking a snowball right to the face. Oppenheimer, let's see how he avoids, uh, or how he navigates this auto-scroller room. He seems like he took half the auto-scroller and then decides to skip the second half by just a uh, perfectly executed wall jump here. Metagloria looks like he has the same strat. It's kind of a half of a safety strat. 
There are multiple ways to get through that room. Oppenheimer taking a death now, allowing Metagloria to close the gap here. Right on his heels as we enter this uh, vertical auto-scroller room. Metagloria with a flex berry, just hanging on to that for later. Who knows when he's gonna... He might get hungry. At some point, he's gonna snack on it. You actually don't collect the berries until you touch the ground for 8 frames or something like that. So theoretically, you could uh, just have a trail of berries following you. Both players now on the final screen of the section. Balancer says, I can't believe how close this is. It is absolutely extremely close, and it's going to come down to who can play clean, who can play smooth. As Oppenheimer enters 2,500 meters, Metagloria right behind, and a death for Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer getting stuck on the first bubble. Now they're neck and neck, literally looking like they're sharing a screen at this point. Both players into this tricky section at the same time. Metagloria pulling ahead now. Oppenheimer struggling a bit. Feeling the nerves. What's up, Joma? Welcome in. Can't see much. It's lagging. Yes, Joma, thank you so much. We are uh, working with the lag and we appreciate you guys... Um, Understanding here, Captainian Allen in the house. What's up, Captain? Oppenheimer grabbing that key. And Metagloria showing us here how you can avoid opening these doors in this section. Oppenheimer now, you'll see a little bit more smoothly. You don't have to hit these switches to open the doors. You can actually just dash through the gap. And first try, nicely done. Metagloria has a slight lead here into the final screen of the level. General Teddy in the house, Moonberry Cup. Meta putting it all on the line now. First into the final climb, 3,000 meters. Oppenheimer literally right behind. Both players absolutely feeling it. Let's see who can hold it together. This section, you're going to see a lot of wall jumps. You're going to see a lot of these gems. Metagloria extending his lead a little bit here. Oppenheimer struggling a little bit. Ooh, Metagloria taking the death, though. Both players at flag 26. I can't believe how close this is. Metagloria taking a death, and now Oppenheimer pulling ahead. Ever so slightly. Wow. Ooh, and now, oh now Oppenheimer god. takes a death. Oh my god. I have... The number of lead changes here, guys, is insane. Died there. Metagloria with a slight advantage so far. The first one to flag 21. Very sweaty play here. They're just trading deaths at this point. Wow. Incredible. Metagloria, I think, has a slight advantage here. Yep, Meta is slightly ahead. Into these long sections once again where any mistake can really cost you. Stamina nicely managed there by Oppenheimer. He's going to need some smooth play and hope that Meta makes a mistake. Meta opting to skip uh, over these spikes here instead of grabbing that gem. And Oppenheimer doing the same thing. Nicely done. Smooth play from both players. Ooh, a quick de death there from Oppenheimer. And Meta extending his lead a little bit. Oof, 
Very close. Ooh, a death there from Oppenheimer is costly. Metagloria now pulling away. Who wants this win more? It is still anybody's game here. Meta is going to have to really keep it together. Oppenheimer going to have to hope for smooth play and a mistake or two for Meta. Lucian says this is going to come down to the six second lead for Oppen going into Summit. Absolutely anybody's game at this point. Metagloria is showing no signs of making any mistakes here as he navigates his way to flag number two. Right on his heels is Oppenheimer. Oh my god, you guys, this is incredible. Metagloria up to flag one. Oppenheimer right behind. This is anybody's game. This is anybody's game. Oh my god, Metagloria finishes out. Oppenheimer knows he needs a smooth finish here. Oh my god, can he do it? Can he do it? A 40-18 for Metagloria. A 40-24 for Oppenheimer. GG to both runners. GG. Metagloria. Wow. What a race. The last three times I played Summit, I have PB. That is insane. 11.06 and 11.19, respectively, on their summits.